Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will see how to make a tree diagram and use Bayes' theorem to solve a conditional probability. Lupus is a medical phenomenon where antibodies that are supposed to attach foreign cells to prevent infections instead see plasma proteins as foreign bodies, leading to a high risk of blood clotting. It is believed that 2% of the population suffer from this disease. The test is 98% accurate if a person actually has the disease. The test is 74% accurate if a person does not have the disease. There's a line from the Fox television show House that is often used after a patient tests positive for lupus. It's never lupus. Do you think there's truth to this statement? Use appropriate probabilities to support your answer. First, let's summarize the information given to us. 2% of the population have lupus. The test is 98% accurate if a person has the disease and 74% accurate if the person does not have the disease. So based on the question, which probability question do we want to answer? Which of these following probability statements will help us answer this question? We're interested in this. After a patient tests positive for lupus, so this is known information. This is the given. We want to know after a patient tests positive for lupus, what's the likelihood it's actually lupus? So we want this conditional probability right here. Given we know the test came back positive, what's the probability they actually have the disease? So in order to answer this question, a tree diagram will be very helpful. So to set up our tree diagram, the first thing, the first branch will be whether the person has lupus or not. So we know that 2% of the population has lupus. So we'll have a yes-no here, 2% yes and 98% no. It's best to record these probabilities as decimals. Next, we, we, our second branch is whether it's accurate. And so when it's yes, has the disease, 98% accurate. So accurate would be yes. If they have lupus, then they should have a positive result for it to be accurate. So here we're going to have 98% positive, given that yes, they have the disease. 2% negative, given that yes, they have the disease. So these correspond to the inaccurate or incorrect results. When the person does not have the disease, it's 74% accurate, meaning we get a negative because they don't have the disease, and 26% of the time we'll get the incorrect or inaccurate result. So now to answer this question, we're going to be applying Bayes' theorem, but if we use the tree diagram, we really can make it more simple and just think about it in terms of this conditional probability. We know that the probability of A given B is the joint probability A and B over the probability of B. So in this case, the probability of A and B is have the disease and test positive. And then that's going to be over the probability of the second term, which is test positive. So for have disease and test positive, it has to be on this branch and this branch. So that's going to be the 0.02 times the 0.98. Have the disease and test positive. And then for the denominator, we're going to have test positive. But there's two ways to test positive. You could test positive this way, or you could test positive this way. So it's going to be yes and positive, or no and positive. So that's going to be the 0.02 times 0.98, yes and positive, or add no and positive. That's the 0.98 times 0.26. And if we evaluate this, we get 0.0714. So there's about a 7% chance the person has lupus given that they tested positive for lupus. That's surprising. How is there only a 7% chance that they have lupus if they got a positive test result? If you look at the diagram again, you can see that a lot of the positives are happening along here. Only 2% have lupus to begin with. 
So a lot of the positive results that will be seen will be because they were on this branch here. So they, people start out with a 2% chance of having lupus. If you know that they tested positive for lupus, it increases the likelihood that the person has lupus from the 2% to the 7%, but that 7% chance is still quite small. So, agree, it's probably not lupus. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.